Hey there internet, Keith here, and welcome to the Cars of Keith YouTube channel. In this video, we're going over some Ryobi 18 volt portable wet dry vacuums. Now many of you who watch my channel regularly or see my posts on Instagram know that I have a ton of Ryobi products, mainly because of battery ecosystem, and the Ryobis are not the most expensive on the market, and I've never had a problem with any of their products. I paid about $59.99 for this one, I believe, uh, around Black Friday. Maybe it was $49.99, I can't remember. But it's $79.99, which is the normal price right now at Home Depot. And I would suggest that you really wouldn't buy these on Amazon, except for one or two links that I'll leave below, where if you include a couple of batteries and accessories, there's a couple of listings on Amazon that's actually a good price. But normally for Ryobi, uh, Amazon is not your spot. It's Home Depot. The three gallon one right now is $99.99. So there's another three gallon out there that's a little bit older. This one does have 25% more suction than that one. And this one has the variable. You have your battery saving lower suction and then your better suction. The one gallon only comes off and on. On the three gallon right here, the link version, you attach and attach it to that system. 45 CFM and this is 40 IOW. Uh, this is 50 CFM and 46 IOW. Now, IOW is inches of water. How many inches vertically can this suck that water? 46 inches, 40 inches. That is the suction power. Your volume, your CFM, that's the amount of air that can be moved through the hose to the dust bin uh, to be moved through. So those two combined is what truly creates the overall uh, vacuum performance. The one gallon has a five foot expandable hose that clips on on both sides. So both of these all accessories and the hose, they all connect to the unit. So you don't have to store it separately and you can see how it extends out. Now also on this, it clicks off on this side and then you have to reverse the hose. So this end goes in on this side and then that's how you're going to use it as a blower. This one right here has one accessory. It's a crevasse tool or crevice tool, whatever you want to call it. I believe these are inch and a quarter connections. It also has a spot for an extra one. Or if you're going back and forth, it's just more convenient to grab it from here than in its little spot. On the one gallon, you have two buckles on the side. They come off. And then there's your setup on the bottom. You have your bin, one gallon it says. Now these are your filters. It's like, like a mixture of vinyl and cloth. You can definitely tell that it's washable and reusable. And then you have your handle if you need it to put up there. And then also you have your battery port right there. Now the three gallon, just like the one gallon, it has a expandable hose. Both of them has the hose connected to where it can move in and out. So that way you're not you know, stuck with a specific angle. And then this one is six foot, which is one foot longer uh, than that one. The handle here as well. And then in the back is where the crevice tool, crevasse tool, uh, it's a little bit longer than that one. And it's not secured like this one is, but if it was to move around, this could fall out. It just lays in there. And then this goes over top of it. This can move and it's possible that that could come out. Now this has the same ability as that one where this just clicks out and then we reverse our hose. And then we have our blower port on the end. See, you have your storage, same filter, changeable, comes right off. And also on the front, you have a little bit bigger of a tool for larger areas. That does have uh, a flat piece and then a little indention right here. So that way, when you're flat on the surface, you still have the ability to pull particles, especially for carpet, stuff like that. These are sold tool only mainly. The suggested battery for both of these is a four amp hour battery. I have two fully charged four amp hour batteries. They just pop in the top, just like that. So if we're getting any from the video, remember there'll be links below for anything that's used in the video, any of my normal stuff, my wash setup and all that. Don't forget to check out carsandcube.com. Like, comment, subscribe. Let's get the testing. So here's the link system. It's basically just a section that you put on the wall has these little checks. I have a battery holder for all of my drill batteries here. I have a shelving system for my drills and stuff. This one takes up two spots. Uh, so I just set it like this. And there it is mounted on the wall. The one gallon has the one slot. And I actually think the one gallon fits better on this. It does fit higher 
uh, but it, I think it fits more flush and less at an angle. This one weighs 6.38 pounds. Let's weigh it with the battery. 8.00 pounds. This one without the battery, 10.12 pounds. With the battery, 11.78 pounds. So total height with the handle is exactly one foot. Now the device itself, it's like to be about 11 inches wide, but remember we have this sticking out, 15 inches if you went from hose outlet to hose outlet. I say the battery adds just a little bit more than a quarter of an inch in total height. This is much more compact because the hose does not change the dimensions. 16 and a half inches. And then bottom of the top, about 11 and a quarter inches. We have a floor mat. And we have lots of stuff that I bought for a previous vacuum video that I get to use in this one. Now let's work these in. And we're going to make a mess everywhere. But you know when it comes to a car, sand and carpeting doesn't go together very well. And for this test, we'll be using the crevice crevasse tool. I know I've been saying crevasse a lot, but I got corrected in a video that I said crevice and not crevasse. So, just a little joke. This tool, the opening's a little bit uh, smaller, so it did get caught up on some of these. So I do believe if you were to pick up larger amounts that you would want to use just the suction like this. The crevice tool for the one gallon is shorter overall. The opening is slightly bigger. So this will be the lowest setting. So here's low speed with the opening. High. So we're gonna try this tool to see if it picks up the rest of this. What about blowing this sand out instead of trying to vacuum it up? This is the one gallon. Here's the three gallon. The three gallon definitely has slightly more uh, air volume for uh, blowing the little rocks and the sand out. So this is how most detailers they would use a tornado gun. All 
I decided to dump just about everything I had, mix it all together because that kind of shows the overall performance of how it works with many different types of materials at once. Because can the filter start to clog up with the sand and the dirt and start to affect this performance towards the end? That was 50 seconds. Now let's see if the three gallon of max can beat 50 seconds, should be able to. <laughs> 40 seconds, a whole 10 seconds faster. There's something satisfying for you. To find the gallons, we're simply going to get the tear weight of these beforehand weigh them afterwards, and then we're just gonna calculate the weight into gallons. 7.94, 11.78. Here is our water. <sighs> 1.36 gallons, so that's pretty good. That's more than the gallon that it said. And that filter, I can already tell the water is beating on it, so it doesn't like like seep in. So drying this is probably going to be pretty easy. I'm going to try to get as much water as I can out of here. We're literally, like, I can't even turn it and it's going to start to overflow. point four gallons so not quite three gallons of water maybe almost two inches or like an inch and three quarters from the top if this one was able to get you know the same height from the top as the one gallon I think it would definitely hold three gallons or more so after all that we hit our light bars and we both have three bars on each one so we have a good bit left let's just turn them on and let them run well there's your times the one gallon about 15 minutes and 40 seconds and the three gallon about 10 minutes and 30 seconds about what I was expecting because this is not as powerful as the three gallon. We ran this on max. Uh, we put both of them through about four to five minutes of torture testing. And the three gallon went through twice as much testing in some of the areas, some at low and some at high. So obviously we degraded a little bit more. I would say easily 15 minutes here and 20 minutes on the one gallon, which is close to what I've seen stated for them. I personally think they both performed very well. I think the one gallon outperformed overall from its size and its price range at about $79.99. Sometimes you should be able to get this between $50 and $60. It held more than the one gallon stated. It did quite well. Uh, the three gallon less than stated at 2.4 gallons, but still did really well. It does have the variable. It is much larger and at $99 right now, I think it's a pretty good deal. It's only $20 difference between the two. So really it's depending on size for somebody just like a little quick cleanup around the car here and then. This is the way to go. Slightly bigger jobs is the way to go. But if you do do slightly bigger jobs, I would suggest running a six amp hour or even an eight amp hour battery on this one. I think this one around the car, you could get away even cheaper by running a two amp hour battery on this one. I think you'll probably get eight to 10 minutes uh, of runtime on this, which is plenty just for a little spot cleanup. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to check out the links below. Don't forget to check out carsvp.com. I got some bloopers coming up in a second and I'll see you in the next video. Some Ryobi portable, I don't know why, portable Ryobi 18 volt vacuum. In this video, we're going over some, we're going over some Ryobi portable shop. Oh my gosh, I cannot say it. So once you attain, mm, and all, and both of them have the, and both of them have, and both of them have, oh my gosh, what do you call that? One gallon. Woo. The one gallon. 
the one gallon oops the one gallon has the one slot so three gallon has three gallon has better three gallon has slightly better oh my gosh three gallon has <laughs> get our tear weight and they're going to weld it to get oh 